Hey guys, welcome to Scalp Logic, and we are at Ink Free in Houston with Donna. We're going to be speaking about lasering off a botched SMP treatment. I know there's a lot of questions, so hopefully these can answer some of your questions that you may have sitting at home. So Donna, would you say that everybody is a candidate for laser removal? Typically, yes. Typically, what does that mean? Well, I mean, if someone comes in and they have a lot of scarring and stuff like that, there might be other treatments that I need to do as well. You know, I always like to see the canvas. Got it, got it. So this is a very customized treatment? Absolutely. Okay, so customized meaning like if somebody comes in and maybe they have darker skin, you would do a different treatment as opposed to somebody that's very fair skin? Correct. So say someone comes in and they have, like you said, very fair, they're a level two. Okay. I'm going to treat them differently in the sense that the settings are going to start different, differently than it would be for someone that's like a skin type five, which has darker a pigmentation. Lot more pigment, yeah. But I also think having experience is a huge deal as well. When yeah, doing the treatments, it's not just a machine. Yes. Because you need to be able to go, as you're going, doing the treatment, look at it and say, okay, this has a little too much frost for someone that's this dark. I'm Maybe sure. I need to dial it back. And frosting is when you're lasering off, right off, and then you're seeing how the skin is starting to form? Correct. Okay, perfect, just so that they can understand yeah. fully. Correct. And so at that point, you're gonna kind of gauge it based on their skin, how their skin is reacting, and really knowing what to do. Correct. Which machine do you use and why? We use our Pico Plus. Okay. Um, we also have a nanosecond machine, okay. but we prefer to use the Pico Plus. There's less treatments. This yes. is not a very friendly feeling thing. Yes. So typically the less treatments, um, most of my, our clients prefer that. It's going to be a lot easier, right? If you only yes. have to come in for one treatment as opposed to like coming back five or six Correct. times. So we just went right into that pain level. How sticky is this? It really depends on the client. Yes. Because everybody's pain level is different. Of course, you know? of course. Um, but we always require that you use numbing cream. We leave it on about 30, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. After that, we do the treatment. But while we're doing the treatment, we're also going to ice you, and we're also going to use a cryo like air uh, blower. Okay. Because that also cool it and just kind of cools it down yes. while I'm lasering, which produces heat. And then how long is the entire treatment? Typically 10 minutes. Now, that being said, it depends on the person. If they need me to stop, give them a break, re-ice them, I do that as well. We try to make them as comfortable as possible. You don't just strap them down and just say, No, we <laughs> just strap them down. No, that would be just horrible. Just take it. <laughs> no, never. Okay, right, perfect. Just making so sure. So you guys have nothing to worry about at home. You guys don't look at this as an option because they're afraid the laser will kill the hair that they have left. And they're already experiencing hair loss. Does it kill your hair? So the laser that we use was not designed for hair removal, okay? So you're not going to get much efficacy with our laser for hair removal. Um, is that always a risk as in, can I say 100% it's never going to happen? Absolutely not, of course. But 99.5%? Four <laughs> percent, which is yeah. a good odds. Yeah, it's not going to kill any of their hair. So even no. though they're going through hair loss, they're just getting the ink removed. Their native hair is still going to be pretty much untouched. Correct. What about the health of the skin? Does it get better, worse, or the same? A lot of times you'll see the skin rejuvenate. Yes. So it actually the texture of it is going to be a lot smoother yes. than it was previously. Which is why so many people, so many women pay for actual laser treatments on their face because of the rejuvenation that it happens. Exactly. Let's say that a client comes in and they have the treatment done. How long would they have to wait to have the treatment redone? We usually suggest six weeks. Six weeks, yes. Okay. Because it continues to heal even though it doesn't yes. look like it's healing. Yes. Your Once the redness dies down, it's correct. still, uh-huh. Your body's breaking down that ink and it's still filtering it out. So the best case is going to be about six weeks. Correct. And, you know, in regards to that, how is the aftercare? Is this something that they're going to have to stay at home for a week and, like, huddle? <laughs> no, no. I mean, every now and then you might get a small blister, but it doesn't seem to uh, blister up like what I do normal tattoo removal. Mm -hmm. um, we just say to put, like, 100% aloe vera because yes. it's going to feel like a burn. Like a sunburn, essentially. Yes. And just kind of staying out of the sun more than anything. Correct. Yes. Right. How I long would they stay out of the sun? Probably the first week for sure. 
Um, after that, use sunscreen, but you know, in general, being an esthetician, I'm like, stay out of the sun. Yeah, I like to make me too. But everything. we live in Texas, exactly. so it's very hard. We get incidental sun, just, you know, getting into the car to go to Target and getting out of the car. So sunscreen all the time. All the time. I completely agree. The last, last, last question now is going to be, is this an easy procedure for clients that actually like want to just fly in for the day, have the treatment done and be able to fly back home the same day? Absolutely. I would be very tired if I did that, but, <laughs> but no, we have people that do it all the time. Okay. Most definitely. Yeah. I, I think the thing is it can be hard to find somebody that really knows what they're doing and seeing what you've been able to do with all of the clients that have come over to you. It's just been so amazing because I've seen less sessions and that's something that I think guys are really scared to do because they're like, how many sessions am I going to have to do this in? And knowing that somebody is making a customized plan for you, Google is going right. to really help as well. Yes. Thank you guys. If you guys have any comments or questions, please list them below.